So there's a couple of videos from a really enjoyable day with one of the trainees here. It's managed to get a reasonable way into their training. And as is the reality with regional anesthesia, hasn't had the opportunities to get any adductor canal blocks or knee blocks. And the really lovely thing about today was that we managed to get three in succession. And that repetition, I think, is important for gaining and retaining skills in regional anesthesia. So we plonked a probe on. We've got the luxury of virtual convex. We're discussing finding the right location in terms of where we are on the leg. And we're looking for the adductor longus muscle. So we've got adductor longus here, adductor magnus there. And again, we're just going to scan up and down to see the relationship between sartorius and longus. Now, this patient had some pathology which made the muscle anatomy look a little unusual, as you can see here. If we pause for a jiffy, here's what we're thinking. We've got sartorius here, superficial femoral artery under it. We've got a little poke on the probe to help confirm that this is the vein. We know our longus is here. We're at the apex of the femoral triangle. Vastus medialis is here. Now we've also looked at a couple of areas. We've looked on top, within the fascia lata, for the anterior femoral cutaneous branches. We've looked below the fascia here, looking for branches of the nerve to vastus medialis. And we've looked for the saphenous, last of all. And we're thinking about a safe approach. So needles coming in, and we've stopped and appreciated that this hyperechoic dot might be one of the branches of the anterior femoral cutaneous nerves. So we have to decide, do we go above or below on our passage or our path towards the SAF? We're going to go below. Now if we can, as we travel along here, we've got a couple of options. We could hydrodissect a plane open, but we're actually going to stay within the sartorius, with above the epimesium of the sartorius. So we've sped this up about four times. Needle's moving slowly towards our target. We think this is saphenous here. Little test injection there. And as we get closer, we're becoming more and more cautious. The needle is very close to the nerve. A couple of test injections, a withdrawal. Not the spread we're after. We'll go again just very gently and slowly forward. Little fascial pop there. And that spread looks good. So we, we know we don't need to manipulate our needle anymore now. And we'll just have a little scan off needle to assess the spread. In the next video, we'll do some genicular nerve blocks. And we see a surprisingly common finding that you probably should be aware of. Bye.